Hey guys, MC Fix It here. We are working on an older lamp that uh, sometimes it works as you see, sometimes the switch is just going bad. If you kind of do it halfway, it kind of works, but you're not actually switching it all the way on. So we're gonna show you how to fix this with just one part and just a couple of tools. And the tools that you're gonna need for this video, Phillips, flathead especially depending on what uh switcher you get there's lots of different kinds out there uh, most of them will have phillips sometimes they do have flathead on them so you do probably want both just by so you can easily fix this project the next thing you're going to go do is uh, go ahead and unplug your outlet so then and go ahead and test it to make sure it's not working obviously if you've unplugged it all the power should be out so the next step is to go ahead and remove the bulb lefty lucy and uh, then you're just going to kind of examine how this is in here and so some of them you can pull straight out just like that others you actually have to go ahead and push these little bottoms in uh, then pull it out sometimes there'll be a knot down in here which is not allowing the extra resistance but this one does look like we should have success just pulling it straight up like that uh, then you can go ahead and see all of your wires right there now that you have that off, you can go ahead and open up your instruction booklet to make sure you know exactly what pieces go where. Um, this one is showing that there's a silver and a brass, and those are the two that you need. The silver will go to the white lead, the brass will go to your black lead. And so inside of here, you go ahead and pull it out, and you will notice the brass and the white. And so those are the two that we're gonna go ahead and start replugging this into. So you may wanna go ahead and look to see exactly how this is. And so this one is going to go on that wire and this one is gonna go on that wire. The reason again, I said flathead and Phillips is sometimes you have flathead and Phillips on the same exact one. Um, those are both flatheads. So a lot of times you can get away with just a flathead because this does have the groove to be able to do that but they don't always have those cuts and so the next thing you're going to do go ahead and remove spin it to the left i'm not left-handed so this is a little harder but want to give you the best camera angle possible so hopefully yours is going a little smoother than mine is you can go ahead and pull that out you do want to examine your wire to make sure it still looks good and that one does so the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and retwist your braid to make sure it is nice and tight. This will also help when you're putting it in, but you do want that just nice and tight. Uh, then you go ahead and make that little bit of a U shape, and you can go ahead and put it down and underneath. Sometimes you may need to get your flat head in there and uh, just kind of push it down exactly how it's supposed to be. Make sure you do have it this direction so as you tighten it down, it does kind of curl with it. And so you don't have to kill it, you just want it nice and tight on there. And if it a little bit does come up underneath, you need to go ahead and back it back out and pull it nice and tight underneath. And you may need to push it down in just a little bit more. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this other side. Go ahead and remove, pull it out. Again, you're gonna go ahead and re-spin it nice and tight. And you can go ahead and make that beautiful little U shape like we just did with the previous one. This one should be a lot easier to do. Sometimes you can kind of pinch it up at the top as well. And then go ahead and tighten back down. And then you're gonna go ahead and push it back. And you can even pull it through the bottom to get it nice and tight. Uh, then you're gonna go ahead and put this, it's gonna be pretty obvious, you're gonna have to put it straight down on there just like that. And then you go ahead and pull it on the bottom again to make sure that's kind of down. You are gonna want that knot to stay in there, that is what the directions tell you to do. Go ahead and push down nice and tight. So after you have that in, you make sure you put and seat that properly, and because it's gnarled, it will kind of help lock it in. Go ahead and put your new bulb in, and make sure it's nice and tight. Sometimes you will have to hold on to the knob there just to make sure it's nice and tight. Go ahead and plug in your outlet, and then go ahead and give it a test. And there we go, it went ahead and worked. Also remember to go ahead and insert the pad back into the bottom, just like that. Um, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below.